वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एन ए डी एन ए डी एच एन ए डी पी एंड एन ए डी पी एच सो दीज आर बेसिकली द इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरियर्स दैट पार्टिसिपेट इन ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन एंड द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ देम आर एन ए डी इज योर निकोटीनामाइड एडीनिन डाइन्यूटाइड इट इज द ऑक्सीडाइज फॉर्म and its reduced form is called as NADH which is reduced nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide in the same way there is NADP which is called as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate this is the oxidized form and its reduced form is NADPH which is reduced nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate so here nad and nadh are similar one is your oxidized form and other is the reduced form both of these forms are interconvertible by means of oxidation reduction reactions and similarly nadp is the oxidized form and nadph is the reduced form and both of them are interconvertible by means of oxidation reduction reactions so this is the structure of nad which is regarded as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide as it consists of a nicotinamide ring which is the most reactive part of this nad as well as nadp so this nicotinamide ring basically participates in the oxidation reduction reactions this nicotinamide ring is attached to the ribose sugar which is ultimately attached to a phosphate group then this nad consists of adenine which is attached to a ribose sugar and that ribose sugar is attached to a phosphate group both of the subunits are attached to each other and it will form na d so it is a dinucleotide because as you know that a nucleotide consists of a nitrogenous base a sugar and a phosphate group so here it is uh, having an adenine which is a nitrogenous base a ribose sugar and a phosphate group so it is your one nucleotide and the other portion here is the nicotinamide ring attached to a ribose sugar and a phosphate group that comes under another part of the nucleotide so it is a dinucleotide if we attach a phosphate group at this position then this nad will get converted into nadp so if i add a phosphate here in the structure of nad that we were discussing earlier then the whole structure will be called as nadp that is the major difference between nad and nad so this is the structure of our nad which consists of a nicotinamide ring ribose sugar phosphate groups and adenine so what happens in this case the nicotinamide ring is the most reactive part of nad and nadp because this ring participates in most of the oxidation reduction reactions so what happens there is a substrate molecule from which two hydrogen and two electrons are removed out of which one h plus and two electrons gets added up to the nicotinamide ring due to which the nad gets converted into nadh so the major difference between nad and nadh is the presence of an extra hydrogen which is present within the nicotinamide ring portion that's why nad is regarded as the oxidized form and nadh is regarded as the reduced form and the other proton that was left there that was removed from the substrate is released into the solution so that is the major difference between nad and nadh so as the nad gets converted into nadh in the same way nadp gets converted into nadph as i have told you earlier that there is no difference between their structure only you have to add a phosphate group here and this whole structure will be converted into nadp so this is the structure of your nadp and nadph 
NADP is regarded as the oxidized form and NADPH is regarded as the reduced form. If we look at the structure of them, then you can notice that the structure of NADP is similar to that of NAD. But the major difference here is the presence of this phosphate group that is missing in the case of NAD and NADH. So that is the major difference between NAD and NADP that in the case of NADP you will notice this phosphate group however in the case of NAD the phosphate group is missing. In the same way in the case of NADPH there is a phosphate group however in the case of NADH that phosphate group is missing that is the major difference between NAD, NADP, NADPH and NADH. So this NADP is interconvertible into NADPH. So what happens there is a substrate molecule from which two hydrogen and two electrons are removed out of which one H plus ion and two electrons get added up to the nicotinamide ring portion due to which the NADP gets converted into NADPH. And the major difference here between NADP and NADPH is the presence of this hydrogen that is present in the NADPH. So that is the major difference between NADP and NADPH. And the extra hydrogen that was removed from the substrate is released into the solution because we have said that there are two hydrogen removed from the substrate. So one hydrogen ion and two electrons gets added up to the nicotinamide ring however the other proton is released into the solution. So this diagram is showing the interconversion of NADP to NADPH and again to NADP from NADPH. So what is happening here just look very carefully this is your substrate molecule and what happens from the substrate molecule two hydrogen and two electrons are removed due to which this substrate molecule gets converted into the different form. However one of the H plus ion and two electrons gets added up to the nicotinamide ring of NADP due to which the NADP gets converted into NADPH and the other proton is released into the solution which was removed from the substrate molecule. So in this way NADP gets converted into NADPH. Now the NADPH that is formed is not much stable so it can transfer its electron. So what happens there is an other substrate molecule and there is transfer of this hydride ion to this substrate molecule due to which the NADPH gets again converted into NADP. So in this way NADP acts as an electron carrier and it transfers the electrons in oxidation reduction reactions. The same set of reaction will happen in the case of NAD and NADH. So both are similar. So now we will discuss about the difference between NADH and NADPH. NADH has a role as an intermediate in the catabolic system of reactions. Catabolic system of reactions as you all know that it involves breakdown of complex substances that leads to release in energy. However, your NADPH operates chiefly with enzymes that catalyze anabolic reactions. Anabolic reactions are those reactions that involve the synthesis of complex biochemical compounds. So that is the major difference between NADH and NADPH. And you must have seen this NADH and NAD within the respiration process, particularly in the glycolysis as well as in the Krebs cycle. And you must have seen this NADPH and NADP within the photosynthesis taking place within the plants. So that is the major difference between NADH and NADPH. So here another important thing is the ratio of NAD to NADH is kept high. It means that the NAD concentration is high within the cell. 
However, the ratio of NADP to NADPH is kept low. It means that the NADPH concentration is high in the cell. So, in the cell, the concentration of NAD is high and NADPH is high because the NAD can act as an oxidizing agent and NADPH can act as a reducing agent. So, that is all about for today. If you like the video, just subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you so much.